Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog, first of all, I'm starting this really late. It is currently 5.27 p.m. Pretty much all I did like earlier in the day was just schoolwork, classwork. I would vlog or like record myself, I guess, while doing that. I don't know, I just get um, distracted <laughs> really easily, which is why I just like to just try to focus on that instead of like trying to vlog at the same time as me trying to do my schoolwork or something like that. I mean, maybe I could make a time lapse or something that could be somewhat interesting. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I did this morning. Um, I think I have like two more weeks of school, which was kind of stressing me out because finals are coming in like two weeks. But anyways, I'm starting this vlog really late, like I said. Okay, so I have like two more hours of sun. The reason I say that is because I wanted to film a eat outfit inspo video. I keep getting like requested to do that. Even though I like posted the Shein haul, which I was like, okay, the outfits I showed in that I guess could kind of be used for ETH. And I keep getting like requested to do an ETH outfit inspo video from you guys. So I was like, okay, I'll just put something together. But the thing is, I feel like all the outfits I'm going to share are like outfits I've already shared. But I guess, I don't know, maybe it'll be helpful um, just to have them on. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever, even if I've shared them already. I mean, this is... I repeat my clothes, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously for you, that's like so not to wear something new, but I'm not gonna be wearing these outfits. These are just like inspo outfits, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna try to um, pick stuff out. I'll put it up on my clothing rack. Okay, so from stuff I have in here, I guess this will be one of the outfit inspo, but I have shared this already. This is what I mean by shared. The outfits that I would wear for E, this is something else I would share, which is also something I already shared. That's two outfits right there. I'll try to put together, I mean, this is, this is the third outfit I would share. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Who cares? It's okay. But okay, so when I filmed my Shein haul, I don't know how, but I forgot to mention this shirt. So it's just like a button down that I also got, which I like it. It's cute. It's like a little bit thinner. Um, I don't know how I forgot to share it in that video. I did film me like trying it on, but then I forgot to like mention it in the sit down portion. So I was just like, you know what? Who cares? I just won't put that in the haul. I did get that. Maybe this shirt too. Hold on. Okay, so these I'm going to put here. Hold on now. So I need to figure out an outfit with this shirt and this shirt. And then these are just dresses. So those are maybe outfits, you know. Also, we'll do this dress as well. Like, sorry, I'm like cut off. Should I like put my camera thing more up so you can actually see? Alright, let me grab something to put this up more. I always get these little boxes. I feel like I'm still kind of cut off, but whatever. I have a lot of dresses to go on. Like, I've slowly like grown my dress collection a lot. These are the two same dresses. This is like the burnt orangey color. This is the pink one. I actually like the pink one more than the orange one. I feel like it looks better on my skin tone, even though I usually would never go for such a bright color. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six outfits already. Should do some outfits with like shirts. <laughs> Part of me is kind of just wanting to film this video with all those dresses and I don't know. I did um, different eyelashes today and I don't really like them anymore. I don't know. Or I put them on kind of weird. Okay, but I think I'm just going to film the video with the dresses if I have the one skirt. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to film that really quick. Um, let's see how long it takes me to turn on all this stuff. It's 5.40 as I am starting. Check in with you guys when I'm done. Also, okay, this is like I'm randomly putting this in here, but I did want to mention the um stuff that's going on in palestine right now just like keep the palestinian people in here the was um i'll put a thing in the description box if you don't know what i'm talking about to find out more about it so give that a read just to be more educated about the whole situation it's been going on for a really long time and it's really sad and sad um yeah i thought i would just like bring awareness to that and then i will um leave a thing in the description so give that a read if you don't know what's going on so yeah anyways i'm gonna try this all on okay so i think i'm done with this video there's technically two more outfits i should have tried on but i realized i kind of have the footage i believe from the sheen haul so i can just include that in here this video hopefully it'll look fine and it won't look super out of place because i filmed it in the same area the positioning might be a little different so yeah 6 40 as i finished this though took me an hour to try on all those clothes minus two i'm exhausted um hopefully the footage looks fine nothing's out of focus or anything like that i also um keep getting requested from y'all to share with you guys how i did my hijab the day of the mandy and like the um, day of the nikah and everything so i'm gonna go grab that and show you guys how i did it super simple literally so easy but i'll just share it with you guys once i share you're gonna be like oh that's what you did Psh, you know but yeah i'm gonna go grab the hijab and i'm gonna go grab that thing to share with you guys so i'm gonna show you guys how i did the pink hijab which is the way i did all of them the only reason i'm showing you guys with this one is because this one's like see-through too so a couple of you guys were like how did you get the coverage or whatever um yeah okay so i didn't wear a black undercap i wore this one underneath but i'm just wearing the black one anyway so i 
didn't want to change it so i wore this nude one which i got from aliexpress so it covered all my hair like the mandy day and the like green suit for the nika like i didn't have this on underneath i wanted one that was like fully covered and covered all my hair but okay pretty much um i used this bella scarf from scarf from bella i was like from where is it from and what i did with it so the reason i put this scarf on underneath um i only did that for this suit was because it's see-through obviously and sheer and it would have just looked weird otherwise i put this in the wash and so it's like all weird and wrinkly right now but anyway what i did was i covered the under cap completely which i never do i always like to show a little bit of my under cap and then i like pinned it back here i don't have a pin oh here i didn't use a magnetic pin i used a like actual safety pin i don't know i just I just used a regular safety pin, which is so unlike me. I don't really care about this pink hijab. Um, and it ended up matching really well. I had this in my room. So I did that. I literally just pinned it behind me like that. That's all I did. Well, my mom did it for me. Um, and then I took this one and I put it on top of my head. Like that. Um, and then pretty much my mom pinned it for me. So she put a pin on the top right here, which something we didn't do, which me and her were like, oh gosh, how do we forget? Because we literally talked about it, was to paint the safety pin a pink color so it wouldn't be obvious. You could kind of see if you looked close enough. So yeah, I did that, but I also put bobby pins on the side here and my this did not move throughout the whole day. It literally stayed in place, which I feel like really helped it stay in place, which is something I um, should do with my undercaps as well because like my undercaps still kind of slip throughout the day and I feel like putting bobby pins helps it so it doesn't slip. I just forget to put a bobby pin on it. Um, but when I do that, it literally does not slip at all. And I did that this day for like the first time I, I forgot who gave me the idea i think my mom gave me the bob bobby pin and was like put it there so it doesn't move um anyways so pinned it on the shoulder of the suit right here and then same thing on this side and then put like a pin to so instead of it like just hanging down you know like oh sorry um we like took this and then like pinned it to my sleeve and then like for the green suit what we did was like we wrapped it around like so kind of I kind of wrapped it and then pinned it almost kind of like that i don't know my mom did it for me so yeah she just put pins wherever you could like pin it down like that pin it like over the shoulder like that whole thing but yeah and when you pin it make sure you like leave a little bit of extra room so it's not like pulling your head down you know uh, but that's super simple it literally didn't take long at all yeah so that's how i wore my hijab that day a lot of people were asking me like oh my gosh how did you do your hijab how did you get the coverage or whatever so that's how I did it that day. I hope that was helpful and I hope I made sense. Yeah, super simple. So I, I feel like I was making sense and I hope so. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go change back into normal hijab. So for today, Iftar, my mom was like dressed up just for the fun of it. Um, she put on a suit and everything too. So I thought I would share with you guys what suit I'm wearing. I'm probably not gonna be wearing my hijab because there's no point in it. I don't know why these clothes and the hijab just, I don't know to me. Or especially the suit it has like a really low back and stuff. So it's just gonna not look good with the hijab, I feel like. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys a suit because I really like it. It's so cute. I'll show you guys what it looks like on. So yeah, I just wanted to share the suit. It's super cute. I'll link it down below um, because my we got this from like one of those online stores. All right, this is what the suit looks like on. So cute. It's my favorite. I love like the color and the design and I like how it's a high neck. I just don't understand why they had to make the back so low. Like I don't know why they do that with all the Indian suit. Makes it more difficult to wear, you know. I threw on this hijab. I don't know though. I just threw it on to like see but honestly I don't know why I feel like I need to figure something else out and the back's open but I guess like I could just wear like a white long sleeve underneath to cover the back being open but so cute I love the suit like the design and everything so pretty I love the color um I don't know I feel like this hijab doesn't actually look terrible it's just the back is open so it looks funny if um, you turn around and you just see my that open right now <laughs> It looks funny right now. Well, obviously, like, I guess I would just wear shirts. So I guess it's not that bad. I don't know why I'm always like, uh, what do I do with the daisy suits? Like, I guess you just wear a regular hijab and it looks fine. I think I'm just thinking too much about it. I don't know. I'm just not used to it, I guess. Maybe that's why. But I feel like it doesn't look bad. It's cute. Yeah. I'm gonna go um, downstairs and help my mom out if she needs any help. Actually, if I just pin it, it kind of covers the back up, if that makes sense. Mom is all dressed up too. <laughs> wow, she has lipstick on and everything. She got earrings on too. <laughs> Looks good. 